unfortunately, as you will probably see, uh, not much has changed uh, over the many years if you've lived in the area and driven by. Uh, and unfortunately, the recent history of Battle Lake is, is not much different than its entire history. Uh, a few years, uh, almost actually a decade now uh, ago, uh, back around 2003, 2004 time frame, I, uh, I've always been interested in War of 1812, the, the, uh, uh, the Battle Acre in particular, and I just looked at the deplorable uh, condition, the fence, the grounds, the lack of a plaque uh, of any real uh, meaningful fitting monument to what happened here uh, during the Battle of North War of 1812. Uh, I just felt like something needed to be done. Started working with uh, the Society of the War of 1812, in particular Mr. Chuck Ives, who unfortunately now has uh, passed on. Um, we started to get together a, a committee to try and fix uh, Battle Acre because it was really something needed to be done. Um, and I, in particular, became interested in. in well, how did it get to uh, its present condition? And uh, fortunately, uh, John McGrain, Baltimore County uh, historian, had uh, written a pamphlet, or at least put together a manuscript, uh, that sort of detailed the different uh, attempts throughout history to make that a fitting monument uh, to the old defenders here. And uh, it's, it's really kind of sad uh, in the sense that while Many people have had the foresight to set aside the land. Dr. Hauk and his uh, purchase of the land, or rather uh, selling the land to uh, the state of Maryland for a dollar and uh, various uh, entities and concerned citizens throughout time have, have made efforts to uh, properly recognize what happened fact is that all of those efforts have fallen apart uh, and, and really quite quickly uh, there, there was uh, throughout different times uh, of slab I, a uh, time capsule that was supposed to contain the whole uh, of, of those who fought here while the uh, the time capsule was uh, Laid, let's see, in 1839, by 1860, that crime capture is empty of the contents. Those were the end of that. Um, throughout the 20th century, uh, concerned citizens, even fourth graders, fifth graders, uh, in 1947, uh, made efforts to clean this place up. Uh, certainly, the, uh, the Dundalk Tapsco Neck Historical Society has been involved, especially during the 70s. Uh, where uh, President uh, Benjamin Wilmer uh, did some research, found that uh, this, the state had actually set aside money, uh, I think the sum of $10,000 uh, through legislation back in 1902 to uh, fix up the place. And yet the only purchase that was ever made was the cannon that you see sitting, uh, standing right behind me. Uh, it, it's really unfortunate really quite unfortunate, as I noted, the fence, uh, the entrance, would look, it would look rather fitting, except for the fact that it's falling over, the, the gate is uh, crooked, it's stuck in the ground, and honestly, it's been that way uh, for about as long as I can remember. Uh, I'm 31 now, so you can imagine uh, the condition uh, that it's been in. Uh, our committee, uh, tried uh, starting in 2005, 2006, got on the capital planning uh, from Baltimore County, and yet the same. So, Baltimore County has uh, placed a crowd of the made a pamphlet here, so they're proud of the stand, and obviously uh, some work has been done, but again, look around you and you see that it's not enough to look at. And this is not something that uh, would be fitting for the sacrifice that was made. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay.